In this video, we'll cover how to download and install ZapPrompt Pro for Macintosh. Um, on our webpage, you're going to have two ways that you can download the software. One way is directly from the home page. You'll see two links for downloading the trial version of the software. The other way is if you've purchased the software and you've created an account on our website, you can log into your account by selecting on my account and go to your product page and you'll see your serial number for the software and the two versions that you can download for the software, the Mac and PC versions. For this video, we're just going to go ahead and download the trial and um, I'll show you how you can use the trial to activate it as a full version. Um, keeping in mind that you will need the serial number from your original purchase when you do the activation process. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll click on the download trial button and start the download. Um, the first page you're going to see is the product overview page. There's a lot of information about ZapPrompt Pro on this page. You might want to read through it, get familiar with some of the features so you know what to look for once you've installed it. And then you can read through the system requirements and make sure that our software is compatible with your computer. And the 99.9% .9 chance it will be, but go ahead and read through it just to make sure. Okay, now um, let's just type in our email address here. and then select the Mac version. We're gonna select the Mac trial download and then we'll hit the download button. On the next page, we'll be prompted again to select to download the Mac version of the software. Once the download's complete, then we'll go through the installation process. Once the file's complete, if you're using Safari, the installer will automatically um, open on the desktop. If you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer, you might not need to double click on the installer to get it open. But once it's opened, you're going to see a folder. Well, actually, two folders, but the one that you're most interested in is the folder that says ZapPrompt Pro 1.9 because that contains the application. And then an instruction that says drop, I mean, drag this folder to your applications folder. So to do that, we're just going to grab a hold of it. Go over the top of the Applications folder and release it. ZapRomp Pro has now been copied into the Applications folder. So let's close all these folders and Safari and everything we have open right now. Actually, let's leave Safari open in the background. We'll just minimize it right now. So now let's open the Applications folder, select the ZapRomp Pro folder, and launch ZapPrompt Pro for the first time. The very first time you run ZapPrompt Pro, you're gonna see the activation window. In this window, you're gonna be given three choices on what you wanna do at startup. You can begin the trial simply by just selecting the trial button. It'll automatically start the 30-day trial. Every day that you move into the trial, it will count down how much time you have left, and at the end of 30 days, you will no longer be able to run ZapRomp Pro on your computer unless you've purchased it. The other two options are to buy ZapRomp Pro by clicking this link. The website will open up and you'll have the opportunity to purchase the product or you can activate it. What we'll do now is select the activation window and get it open so I can show you the activation process. As you read through this, you'll learn there's two ways to activate. One is using the internet activation and the other is using the manual activation. The internet activation is by far the easiest way to activate because all you really need to do is select the internet activation button and, uh, and a little dialog window will pop up. It'll ask you for your name and address and all that kind of stuff along with the serial number that you received when you purchased the software. You select OK and then it just automatically activates. The manual activation is intended for somebody who does not have an internet connection. What it's asking you to do here is actually just record or write down this web address right here, go to another computer, open this page, which actually I'll show you what it is. It's a, it's just an internet form, but it's going to ask you like your name, company, street address, all that. Right here it's asking for the request number. That's going to be this number right here that says request number on the activation window and then it's asking for the serial number which is the serial number that you had when you that you received when you purchased the software 
When you select send on the next page, it'll give you the activation request. And then all you do is select the button that says manual activation and it'll ask you to enter the, the activation key that you got. And the activation will be finished. We can close, actually, well, yeah, we'll get rid of this window now. So now, if we were gonna do the internet activation, you would just select this and put in your serial number, fill out all these form, I mean, fill out all these fields. They're all required. It won't let you activate without them. And then select activate now. And in the manual activation, you go through the web page and fill out all the information. You come back here and see it's gonna ask you for the serial number and then the activation code that you received from the activation website. I would strongly recommend connecting your computer to the internet and using the internet activation because it's a, a lot less hassle than having to go to another computer and write down all the information from the software and activate it. Zap Prompt Pro will not run other than in trial mode unless you do the activation.